Good morning guys, Craig from Violent Day. Just wanted to do a quick video update on everything we've been doing. We are just starting an S14 build. We've got a Zenki S14 in. Um, I never thought I'd see the day that Toy would sell her JZ600, but she has. And I think the main reason for it, she loved that car, but I think the main reason for it was she wanted to manual swap it. And we all know R154s at the moment are insane money. Um, and yeah, she got... S14 come up pretty, uh, well, amazingly cheap, really. I've done a deal with my friend Reese. He's sorted us right out on it. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a pretty sick build. Um, you'll have to excuse the floor at the moment. We had a flood in the week, and it absolutely destroyed the floor. So the track is looking a bit well, <laughs> worse for wear. There is mud literally all the way up the back. It went from the front door all the way about 10 metres up to the back. So it was swimming in here. Um, it's all dried out pretty much, but it's just filthy dirty. Um, yeah, so the S14. So this is it at the moment. Um, it's actually a really, really clean car. Um, there's a bit of rust on this wing, but they've been chopped anyway and it's going to go. Um, we bolted some VSKFs on that we had, or we have bought, I should say. Um, they're actually pretty mega. They're a 12.5J. 18 et0 and these arches just swallow them up so yeah we could we could actually probably run a 10 mil spacer on there but <laughs> it's pretty mad um the car itself is actually really really nice all of the both seals have been chopped out all the rear arches have been tubbed um rear pockets have been done as well so yeah it's actually super super clean i don't know if it's open actually oh it's the yeah, interior is immaculate uh, we're just going to put a Hell's Racing steering wheel on. We've got the pink Funky Queen. It's still on auto at the moment. It's only done 100k, but it's completely stock. Um, completely stock auto. S14, SR20 debt. Um, obviously got the East Bear mirrors as well. Super sick. I actually love these. A lot of people don't like them because they look like little pig ears, but I think they're really cool. Um, I think they're, they're, like, you know, they're, they're actually getting harder to find now than Ganador. So yeah, East Bear mirrors are sick in my opinion. Um, yeah, been umming and ahhing about what to do with it, to be honest with you, because we, we was like, do we keep it subtle? The plan was initially was going to put a nav end kit on it and just slam it and have it cool like that, but I just think it needs a kit. Like, if you remember my old S14 that I had a couple of years back with um, HM Sports kit on it from Huxley, um, that car was absolutely sick. It had the Rezax on it, stuff like that, and it looks really, really awesome. Um, let me see if I can find a picture and I'll put it in the picture now. It'll be on the next slide. Yeah, so that was uh, the last one we've done. So I think I'm going to do something very similar. Toya, we love this colour, but I think Toya's really adamant. We done the uh, we done the JZX in a pink, a glitter pink, and it was just too pink. It looked like a Barbie car. And we've seen a really cool one. There's a girl on Instagram, Keela, I think her name is. I'll put a link to um, I'll put a link to it, or I might even just try and find a quick image of it. And I'll put it up in the video next here. Yeah, so that colour, basically, like a pink rose gold is what she wants to go with. And I think that, fully kitted on VSKFs, I've got a white cage for it as well. We've got a cage coming, we're going to paint white, so that'll have a full cage in it. It'll be, it'll be a pretty sick car. I think it's going to be an awesome build, so I thought I'll, uh, I'll do a little build, Fred, so you guys can keep progress on what's going on. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So I think I'm going to order the kit today off Hux. Um, I need to find another pair of VSKFs for the front, so if anyone knows, an 18-inch, even, you know, even if it's just two faces, two faces will do it. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just start building it from there, and we'll do a bit of a video going. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching the build. We get so many um, questions asking, why don't you do, why don't you do build for us? Because we build so many cars, in our, you know, our own private cars, we have so many. Um, and it's just, uh, yeah, I'll never, I'll never think about doing it, but I should do, really. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the next project, and I can't wait to get stuck in. 
like I say, again, excuse the mess, it's an absolute tip in here because, like I say, the flood. But as you can see, the shelves are looking a little bit bare. We've had a, um, we've actually had a mega sale on, so everyone's been buying stock. Um, all of the Japanese merchandise, a lot of it has either gone or been held. There's still a few bits left, but um, I say the majority of it is actually has actually been taken. I've posted some out yesterday. Um, and yes, some of it is still available. I sold me the prized possession with Team Orange gloves. I was, do you know what? I've had these on the shelf for so long. I bought them as an XL, but my like mammoth size hands, I can't actually fit in it. So <laughs> it's a shame. But no, we, we've still got some really cool stuff. A lot of Euro stuff. I'm a massive Namorakem fan. So um, yeah, got some really rad Euro stuff. Signed most of it as well. He does love a signature. So yeah, a lot of it's all signed. Um, but yeah. Obviously, signed drinking bottles, obviously new, but um, signed nonetheless. And yeah, still got a load of Cool Master HKS masks. This is super rad. That all that's sold out in Japan like in minutes, so that they're pretty much well sought after the HKS face mask. Although technically we don't need them anymore. Um, Team Orange face mask, Valino face masks, obviously Nakamura face mask, or Silky face mask, I should say. Um, but yeah. Loads of, loads of cool stuff still here, but just a lot of it has gone. So um, I started selling the Naburis as well. So um, that one now is gone. That's fully sold out. I think I've got two left of these. Then one sold out. That one sold out. I had a parking one, which is sold out. Um, yeah, but these are obviously my own private collection today. Ones ain't for sale. I might even consider selling the install deck, but um, not sure. <laughs> Maybe we might sell it. We might not. <laughs> yeah, we've got a load of Naburis and stuff coming from Japan. Um, super, super cool. This parking zone one that's sold straight away. That's already gone. Um, but we will get more stuff in over time. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you this. I made a little uh, up garage, which is pretty damn cool um, for the track. So that's. Uh, I'm not sure if I've showed you this on the video yet, but I thought I'll uh, show you guys. Yeah, let me sh show you the engine actually on this thing. It's uh, it's really nice to see a complete stock factory SR20 deck not mess around with. So, um, yeah, complete stocker. <laughs> being a, being an auto as well. It's I mean, it's, had, it's probably had a pretty easy life to be honest with you. We had a got it off my mate Reese who got it off a woman who'd had it for 19 years. So it was just a sort of sporty coupe. She said so. Um, yeah, she just enjoyed driving it, but I say underneath is really solid now then both of them seals have been done um, It's actually really cool under there. So nice and clean to start um, Front mount I've got to get exhaust. I've got to get And uh, yeah, and then the kit it should should start looking a bit different very very soon um, I was very undecided on the VSKF. I do love the SKF. They're like my favorite wheels But at the moment where it's a high it looks like a four before but um yeah, it should be should be pretty nice once we get the lows on it and our kit on it. Should be pretty damn cool. So these are the wheels that come with it. Um, we're probably just going to use them as skid wheels. They're like uh, they're actually not not a bad set. There, I think they're a nine and a half J at the front, and the backs are a ten and a half J ET twenty six, I believe. But they're actually a really nice set of wheels. Um, yeah, we're going to keep them for skids. So, the laurel as well, we'll give you a quick update on the laurel while we're doing the video. Um, the laurel itself is, well, it is as it is really. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the BN Sports kit on it. I mean, it is obviously mega low. That is like almost touching floor. Um, obviously the ground's really uneven here anyway, but it's, uh, it is pretty low driving, but it looks absolutely sick. I drive this thing pretty much daily, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's a daily skid car. I love these skirts on it. This is just uh, going to be ready for the Driftland Day in April. Can't wait. Anyway, guys, yeah, so uh, that, that wraps up this video for today. Um, I will, I've got more stuff coming from Japan actually, I've got a load more bits because the 
because the shelves are getting a bit bare, um, I've ordered some more stuff. So always, always look in, you know, always give us a shout on the website, violentd.com. You see all the stuff on there. Sorry, ah, stray grey hair. Problems are getting old. Um, yeah, and we've always got cool bits laying around. I've, got, I've still got lips and barrels. We've got the, uh, got some of the old squankies down there. 13J T0. Uh, sorry, 13J, 13 inch 7J ET0. Um, got some old S14 overs from Martin Cowley's car. But we've always got cool bits lying around, so if you ever need anything, give us a message. If I haven't got it, then maybe I can source it, so yeah, just, just let us know. But anyway, more updates when we get the kit in and uh, we'll, start, we'll start making this thing look red. Alright, guys, catch you soon. Laters.